Hey everyone, I'm making this video for you because the JOGs brought through a transmission for you and said that I should make a video and share it. So that's what I'm doing. I'm gonna share this amazing transmission with you where they really get very clear and firm with us about our destiny and about our path. This is something I am so passionate about and I've become so passionate about through my own experience in life and realizing how the only thing that really matters, like the only true measure of success, like I'm telling you here, the only true measure of success is, are you fully living your destiny? Are you doing what you came here to do? And for so long, I was searching for what that thing was. And I was, I talked about this in my book, The Quest. I was addicted to the search. I was addicted to questing. And when we're in that addictive cycle of questing, we're not really getting anywhere. We're just spinning our wheels. We see this a lot in the development world where folks are just taking class after class and teacher after teacher, but they're not really doing the work. They're like, I took that class, so I guess that means I did it. What we came to do is to live fully our destiny and each of you has a specific trajectory that you're here for. And that is what true success is. It is not in someone else's externalized version of it looking in a certain box or looking a certain way. It really is about, are you doing what you came here to do? Are you living fully the path that you came here for? And how you know that is how it feels in your body. You feel alive with your mission. You feel alive with your purpose. You know that whatever that is that you're called to is exactly what you're supposed to be doing. The people that you're experiencing, the area that you live in, the work that you're doing, everything is fully aligned with what you came for. And that will continue to evolve, but what matters most is to continue to check in with yourself and say, am I living my destiny? Am I living on purpose? Because that is the only thing that matters. And anything and everything Thing you're doing in your life will most support you when your focus is, does this allow me to be who I really am? Is this work, is this program, is this class, is this teacher, is this coach going to allow me to be more of who I truly am and live more of my divine destiny? Because that is the only thing that matters. So I could keep talking about this as you can tell because I get really passionate, but the JOGs say it so much better than I do because they're amazing. So I'm gonna share this transmission with you. For those of you that are new to me or new to the JOGs, uh, the JOGs are five non-physical guides that I've been working with since 2013. In truth, this was always the contract. They've showed me that throughout my life, they've been checking in on me to see like, is she ready? Is she ready? Has she lined up the energy? Because really your destiny is in place, but it's your job to line up the energy to the pieces that you're here to experience, to teach, to live, whatever it might be. And so in 2013, my, vibra my vibration was high enough. I was at the John of God Casa in Brazil. I was instructed to not follow the Casa protocol, but rather to sit in the gardens every day and meditate. That was what came through my own guide. Guidance. And as I did that every day for two weeks, I was connected with the JOGs. And again, these are five non-physical guides that have been working with me for a very long time. I'm sure for many lifetimes actually. Uh, but in this lifetime, our relationship is that I am bringing through transmissions from them that they are sharing um, so that more of us can be living our destiny. More of us that are called to this path, this spirit-led path, can live fully in the magic, live fully spirit-led and to really do what we came here to do, to stop having lives where we're just messing around and delaying and doing the same patterns over and over again, which we can see in our own life in this lifetime. Can you imagine how many lifetimes we've done the same thing? And so the GOGs are just the most loving, most powerful, most amazing non-physical guides I have ever experienced in my life. They've totally saved my life. They've completely transformed my life to be one that is totally spirit-led and just it makes you cry every time I think about it. More beautiful than anything I could have imagined. I get to feel and live in a way that, you know, just was not known to me or made available to me until I began walking this path with them fully. And um, I made that vow and that commitment at the end of 2014 and my life um, has never been the same in the best way possible. And it, it just keeps blowing me away, the depth that they're taking us to that allows me to fully live my destiny and to live like in bliss more of the time. That's the only way I can explain it to you, more moments of bliss. By no means does that mean zero challenges. It means that challenges, um, which the GOGs would call expansion points, it just means that I get to be in bliss more of the time and I understand everything that's coming in. It's like 
supporting my growth and so there's no need to ever fear there's no need to be in worry there's no need to freak out like they've got us so um, again I can talk forever about this stuff because it is my heart is my soul is what I came to do it is the path of mastery um, but again they they just bring it through so much more eloquently so wherever you're at right now just take a couple of nice deep breaths and just allow yourself to move into receiving mode so if you want to sit with like your palms facing up or hands on your heart um, whatever feels right to you I want to encourage you to close your eyes um, they're having me do a few more videos here which is so funny because so often I have my eyes closed so um, it doesn't matter you're gonna get the transmission whether it's audio video telepathic whatever way it goes so just allow yourself to go into a nice receiving state taking some nice deep breaths you want to inhale through the nose and then exhale out the mouth that's what we call a detoxifying breath. It helps support the body's natural cycles and rhythms of detoxification and helps you release what might be limiting you or not serving you to support you in fully receiving this transmission from the JOGs. Okay, let's go. So allow yourself to be in receiving mode and we'll get started here. You are very wise, our dear ones and there is much that you understand and know in your life unfolding. You have lived many, many lifetimes and have come further than ever before in your life expression. And yet, as is often the case for all spirits in a body, there are only a slight few who are exempt from this, and we will go into that at another time, but most of you often do not allow yourself to live the fullness of the destiny that you came here for. You find reasons to focus on aspects that are less than appealing to you, and you allow yourself to engage in stories about yourself, about your life, and about your circumstances and the future that do not allow you to see things as we see things. And we no longer desire that for any one of you. We no longer desire to see any one of you struggle with trying to decide this or that or striving to fulfill what you think you should do and then calling it your destiny. It is unnecessary at this time in consciousness and who you really are and how far you've come over eons of lives. We see you trying all various ways to shift yourself into a more aligned frequency and we know you feel a sense of disconnect on which path will take you to what you desire most. First, we must tell you this. What you desire most, more than anything on this planet, is to live the life that you desired when you first began your journey as a spirit in a body so very long ago. That is the ache you feel. That is that desire you crave. That is that pull that you notice within you. The only thing you have ever wanted was and is to be fully on the path of your destiny. And there you are taking this action and that action, calling this person and that person, and doing your, we'll say, damnedest to make that which happens, which you can only allow to happen through the tenets of spirit-led surrender, trust, and embodying your divinity that Heather has been talking about as of late happen. This was Heather's own journey, doing and trying and searching and seeking. And then, and then we convinced her. And her version of this story is a bit different than ours because she will tell you she was brought to her knees to get to living in this way. And we will say the means that had to be appropriated to support Heather in being who she really is were used with love, with gentleness, believe it or not, and in the precise manner that were needed so that Heather could let go of her stranglehold on trying to control her external circumstances to meet the conditions in her head that she had told herself would make her happy. You see, it just does not work like that, our dear ones. Your spirit team, source, and higher self have the broader perspective. We know where you intended to be all along. And while we cannot give you this full picture from the get-go, if you will, as in doing so, you would work in every way you could to ensure that it did not happen. And so Heather says she was brought to her knees to reach her total state of surrender and trust and embodying her divinity. And we will say the control and exertion with which Heather was living her life had to be removed for her to live the life that she always came to live. 
And this is true for you and for all of you as well. Living in any way that is not in full alignment with your destiny will never feel good to you. And we want to be clear that each of you has an individual destiny. Each of you has an individual means with which you intended to give your highest gifts and highest wisdom and to live in the abundant state that naturally occurs from this. And each of your individual destinies make up the collective destiny. And we talk in much greater detail about this in the program we have guided Heather to facilitate from May to August that we're having her call Spirit-Led Mastery. But for now, what we want you to know is this. Your destiny is a crucial part of the whole collective destiny. You can gripe and complain about your world, but it will not be solved by your attempts to control those outside of you. Your world will only be brought to peace by you living the fullness of your destiny. And many of you do not want to do this from your personality perspective, because doing so means an up-leveling of your life in ways you can sense, but not fully understand. And while we get it, excuses will not be accepted on any level, on any realm. You have a mission, you have a purpose, and not living it means you just don't feel so great. Not living it means you live in scarcity, whether you have $10 or a million dollars. Avoiding what you most came here to experience only leaves you in pain. The freedom and wealth you seek lies in one path and one path only, the path of your true self, the path of your highest self, the path of your destiny, the authentic, real, who you really are, you. There are a million ways to say it, but it all comes down to this. And the only way, and we mean the absolute only way to get there, is through what we are calling spirit-led surrender, trust, and embodying your divinity. And so, we are giving you an invitation. We are inviting you personally to say yes to this path that you desired most when you first began what you call your incarnation process so very long ago. This is, as Heather has stated for many years, this is the lifetime that you do what you always set out to do. This is the lifetime that you remember what you set out to do and what it was, and you take action as such to bring it to full. Not half, not partially, not somewhat, but full fruition. Take heart, our dear ones, take heart. Do not abandon yourself in this crucial moment in your evolution. You have before you an opportunity to allow all of heaven and earth, and we mean that in every sense of the words, all of source will be beaming down on you to support you in the sacred container that we have had Heather create. All of heaven and earth will be moved to allow you to know that which we know, that which we see, that which you fully intended. You are divine. You are powerful, you are rich, you are all connected. You came here for you and you came here for all. You came here to know that which you have always known and to make it manifest in physical form for all to see. Nothing less will ever do, our dear ones, nothing less will do. So your invitation has been sent. We await your reply and we ask that you allow the true you to do the replying. We ask that you, the you who came here to be who you really are replies. We ask that the spirit that you feel is buried at times within you is given the light it always has wished to be given and that you allow your guards and protection to be removed. And instead you say yes to your destiny. You say yes to this life. You say yes to having the impact you are meant to have. We see it as so. We honor you as such, and we know that all you are seeking is right here, available to you right now. In love, the JRGs. I don't know about you, but I just want to like sob because this is so beautiful and so true and so important and so what we came here to do and so what I feel called to support as many who also feel the call in walking this path. You didn't come here by chance. You're not here just because. You didn't come here to struggle. 
Any struggle you see happening in the world is a call from deep within your soul to get your ass on your path to help heal whatever it is that you see that is just making you just so full of angst or whatever it is when you feel agitated or inspired by what you're seeing happening in the world that is your soul telling you pay attention you have a call within you you have a path that is important for healing all of this but all of this cannot be healed until you do this until you do this work until you show up for you until you live what you came here to live and my highest path and purpose is supporting those and living their destiny that feel called. And so as the JOGs mentioned, Spirit Led Mastery, which is my live immersion program, it's 92 days that we get to spend together supporting you in living your destiny fully, in being who you came here to be, and allowing your life to be the beautiful, peaceful, abundant, joyous, amazing experience that you came here for it to be. So we begin in less than two weeks, and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what you'll be experiencing. You can expect to sleep better than you've ever slept. I have to tell you, like my whole life I suffered from insomnia and sleep issues, and I was always taking melatonin and sleep aids and whatever I needed to. When I fully surrendered to this path in 2014 with the JOGs and said, okay, I fully surrender, my sleep just like completely up-leveled. I've never slept so good in my life because you're experiencing a deeper state of peace than you've ever known because you know you're doing what you came here to do. So some of the experiences you may have and the benefits you may receive from this time together, our participants are already receiving. So as soon as you sign up for Spirit Led Mastery, you go into my morning prayer ritual, the JOGs are specifically working on you every single morning to support you in living your destiny fully. Our ladies are already experiencing increased intuition, increased abundance in their life, increased bliss. They're having more days of being in a bliss state, which if you've had the experience of being in a bliss state without any mind altering drugs, um, you know how incredible it is. And you know that it is part of what you came to experience while in a body, because to be in a bliss state while in a body, and I'm talking an authentic bliss state that comes from your connection to who you really are, there, there are like no words to describe what that feels like. Our participants are already expanding in their life and lining up their choices with who they really are. So you're gonna find yourself more on purpose, more on path, living in more wealth, living in more abundance, living more of what you really came for. You're gonna find a deepening in your relationship. You're gonna find yourself crying tears of joy, like on the regular, like daily. I went from being someone who never cried and was like proud of that, because that's how emotionally armored I was. <laughs> I was like, I never cry, I'm so tough so ridiculous and now I cry every day because I'm just so in awe of what's happening and of the energy that the JOGs bring through and how much they love us you know do you know how loved you are like do you really know how special you are and how loved you are like it's beyond words and it is an emotion that like I wish I could put words to it feels like bliss but it feels like all of the universe is hugging you and kissing you and loving you because they are like you are so loved and you're so important and I want you to know that and I want you to feel that and I want you to live the magnificence that you truly are. Okay, so <laughs> I get so impassioned by this message and I'm like, wait, we're going over some things about the program, right? Yes, I think that's what we're doing. So your life will change. You spend 92 days with me, your entire life will change. Anyone who's ever worked with me and has really shown up for it, their whole life transforms because my path, my mission is to support advanced souls like yourself. So if you're called to watch this video, if you're called to me, if you're called to this work, you're an advanced soul. And your mission is to live fully what you came here for so that you can support the up leveling and the uprising of this planet. Like as the GOG shared, it's not just your destiny, like, oh, live your destiny for you. It is imperative that you live your destiny so that the collective, so that mother earth, so that all of us can live our destiny. So you have a responsibility, not just to yourself, but to all of us. So we're gonna spend 92 days together. We're gonna to have two master classes a month. Um, the JOGs are having me teach you this quantum physics process where you're gonna literally go back and rewrite and restructure traumas and limitations that you experienced earlier in your life. This is no joke. It is 
amazing what starts to occur with the people around you and in your own life when you work in the quantum field in this way. So we'll be teaching you that. You'll have meditations once a month. You're gonna receive twice a week transmissions from the JOGs just like this that you're gonna to listen to or you can read them, whichever feels right to you, and allow yourself to continue to be attuned to the three tenets of living your destiny, which is spirit-led surrender, trust, and embodying your divinity. You'll receive monthly sessions from me and the JOG. So you'll actually have energy medicine sessions as well that you can listen to at your convenience to align you and attune you to clear out limiting beliefs, fears, and traumas that are keeping you from living your destiny. Like we are going all in here, people. We are giving you everything you need to live your destiny and to live it fully and to totally let go of that inner control freak that's been running your life and it's not working, right? Like it just doesn't work to live in this state of control, of trying to make your life happen based on some concept that someone else gave you or that you were culturally given or given by your family or religiously, wherever it came from. Like you're here for your destiny and your destiny is fundamentally critical to the destiny of this planet. You know this. I know you know this. I know you feel this. You're an advanced soul. How can you not know this, right? You know it. Now it's time to take fucking action to make it happen. So we're going to have 92 days together and you're going to get so much goodness, like the meditations they're bringing through the sessions, the transmissions, the live time with me, the processes we're giving you, the practices you're gi we're giving you, you are going to be able to step into greater levels of surrender, trust, and embodying your divinity so that you are lined up with the path of your destiny. No joke. It's on. It's happening. If you know me, you know I don't mess around. The JOG sure as hell don't mess around. We are doing this because more of us need to be walking this path and walking it fully. This is so fun making this video because they are literally having like lights go off like every time I say things like all around and the sage is all here. This is just, um, videos were always difficult for me to make because I'm really um, more at ease like in an auditory environment or as a healer or writing. Um, but they have really stepped it up for me now with making these videos where I just literally feel like spirit is just filling this room and they're supporting us and having this conversation and I so love it. So join us for Spirit Led Mastery. We begin May 3rd. There's no reason not to live your destiny. And in fact, when you're not living your destiny, you're contributing to the discord and the disharmony of the planet. And so for all of us to do what we came here to do, we have to take the action. We have to say yes. We're gonna give you all the tools you need for 92 days. And it's happening at the perfect time energetically that it could possibly be happening. We are in what I call retrograde season. Um, so we've got five planets in retrograde right now, which is like unheard of. And this is happening because we have to get to the deepest core desire within us and get to that deepest part of us and find out what are my deepest desires so that I can live my destiny. Literally, I just went to a um, lecture by Kristen Fontana, one of my favorite astrologers and she was talking about exactly this like why are we in these retrogrades it's slowing us down it's forcing us to slow down and do our inner work and that's exactly what we're going to be doing for 92 days in spirit-led mastery so it could not have been better timing and it's so interesting because it's happening during the spring and summer which is expansion and mac maximum expansion time according to Chinese medicine so it's like we're going deep internal to blow it out to totally expand in the best way possible of being who we really are. And by the end of August, if we haven't done that internal work, I don't even want to know what's going to happen. We don't have to feed that because we're doing our internal work. So those of us that are doing our deep dive and doing our deep internal work over this next 92 days, by the end of August, like a huge chapter in your life is changing one way or the other. So you get to decide. Again, so the free will part of this is, yes, we have a destiny, we have a vibrational trajectory, and we get more into this in spirit-led mastery. So you have a destiny, you have specific people, specific experiences that you're meant to have, but the timing of that, the way that goes down is dependent on you lining up the energy. You have to do your work in order for your destiny to come to fruition. And the JOG say a lot, some people it just keeps getting delayed into the next lifetime and the next lifetime because they have not found the ability and the courage to line up the energy to fully live who they are. But I say, we're not waiting another lifetime. That's not what we're doing. You're doing it now. <laughs> we're doing it now. We're in this together. Let's do this now. Let's make this not only the best lifetime we've ever had, but let's up-level our planet. Let's heal. 
through ourselves and the world, right? We're really bringing everything into this greater state of alignment that is so beautiful in every way. So join me, we start in less than two weeks. I wanna see you there. We're gonna have the most amazing time together. Your life will be transformed. Thank you for letting me share this time and space with you. I want you to know how loved and appreciated you are and how much spirit cares for you, how much I care for you, and how much I can't wait to see what we get to create already. Like I shared before, our participants are having incredible shifts in their life and we haven't even technically started. Just from the prayer triangle and the first transmission, they are going to new heights. And that will only continue for all of those of us who have the courage to live who we really are and to live what we really came here for. I know that's you. So join me. Go to heatherstrang.com, click on magic, and then click on spirit led mastery. We've got three payment options for you to make it really, really easy for you to join us. You've got lots of flexibility. There's no reason to say no. You are so ready for this. The value of my time and energy in this three months is in the thousands of dollars, and it's all only for $997. Again, I follow 100% what Spirit said. That's what they gave me. I'm like, you guys, this is like a three grand program. They're like, yeah, but but this is the price. And so I encourage you to put aside any limitations that you might be giving to yourself to hold yourself back and to really step into the brilliance and the magnificence that is you. Okay, guys, I love you so much. And I look forward to seeing you very soon and spending 92 days with you. So much love. Mwah.